Welcome to Z's Toy Box. I'm Z. And I'm G. I like it. It's official. We're just gonna go through the alphabet. Today we're bringing you Breakout Beast Spitters from Mega Constructs. From looking at the packaging, it, they are for ages five and up, mostly for small pieces, and each creature does appear to come in some sort of slime. It looks like your standard slime, but I do believe you have to dig out your pieces and then, I guess, wash them off and put it together. I wanted to do the video with this toy because this really reminds me of like the the rash of gross out toys that occurred back in the 80s and 90s, especially with slime. Um, do you remember the toy Mangalore? Or was that before even your time? Like that, Maybe? that was like, you got slime mountain and you come out, it was the most heavy metal looking toy I ever saw. And then they would take anything like a popular girl toy and make it like you had the garbage pail kids or even mm -hmm. Easy Bake Oven had creepy crawlers. Yeah. I had some and giant Ghostbusters heads. had slime too. That was a huge thing with Ghostbusters. That was probably like the first he main. Had slime. You slime know what? Pit. Snake Mountain had a slime pit. Ninja Turtles, you could buy the ooze. Mm -hmm. My God, this, this is this is almost a uh, nostalgic for me. Like this these weird. I had so much slime. Gross out toys, especially the slime. I apparently. Uh, Apologize to my family that if every like piece of furniture and carpet over the years of me growing up was stained because now I'm looking back going my god It's something you learn as a, a child of the 80s or 90s. You learn how to clean slime out of stuff Or how to deal with it being stuck in it <laughs> or just accepting it. This is your new home decor <laughs> Getting it in the carpet is horrible. So word of warning do not get this in your carpet now because of the slime I'm not opening this sucker in there. I mean, I've opened sure the box. That velvet top looks highly not absorbent. Oh god. That will be crusty for days ever. Yeah. So, let's take these over. We'll open up the packaging. At least see the weird little slime pouch. My and slime's then... gold. You have gold slime? It's gold. Hurry up, I want to go. Here we are in the light box with our breakout beast spitters. In the front you have a little viewing window. So it's, they are kind of advertised as a mystery. But if you actually look close, just from the two we have, I think I've been able to kind of figure out looking at the pieces and then when it shows you on the back, like it always does, what you can find between the six different creatures. I think we can kind of determine what's in there. I want to say this one, one is. is the green tentacle beast. Let's open up this packaging here. Let's Oh, that pack is larger than I thought. All right, box in. Oh, it looks easy to open. Ooh, so is it the green one? Yes, I was right. So here are your, wow, large directions. Oh, apparently there's some sort of action with these, not just the building. It's a neat design from the actual making it look like slime. Oh, and just in case you weren't sure, it's slime. If you've managed to get this far after purchasing this product and then opening it and then going, oh my goodness, there's slime in here. Um, there might be a problem. So let's see what the next one looks like. Mine doesn't like to stand. Oh, he did. Whee! And yep, just as I thought, gold slime. Here we are back in the light box with our little slime sacks. Self-adhering. Oh, oh God, it's, today's its birthday. Here we go. And push! I always wanted to know what this stuff was made of. I guess I could just Google it. Oh, my, oh God. Oh. Well, that was, that was the beauty of nature might want to double check as the parent or guardian to make sure you have everything. Do this with your children. One of the cool things about this toy is that it's interchangeable. So the, again, the more you get, you can kind of either create what they expect you to, or just start making them into even more nightmare fuel than they already are. Missing a limb? Oh no! 
It's is not, it in here? I was gonna say. It, oh! It's in here. <laughs> oh my god! I found the other leg. <laughs> As we were saying, definitely double, triple check. Oh Things my god! Hide inside of the body. I think you suck up the slime first. Oh yeah, you got the cool. No, you actually. Oh. Cheater! We don't do that here. But I think he's full. Oh, well, that's he more attached than I'd like it to be. These, I don't know what in God's name these are supposed to be. This is just some sort of bug mutant creature. Yours looks like a demonic naked mole rat. Oh. Oh. What's it eyes? comes out of the eyes as well. Yours is strictly... Oh, oh, okay. If I can get a close up here. Slime wants to adhere to slime. And here we go. Oh, well, that backfired. <laughs> Let, let's try that again. There we go. Proper oozing, not head propulsion. I mean, that could be a different action feature. Sometimes they spit, sometimes they launch their head. Did you ever shake someone's hand with fun like this? If I did, I don't think I would ever want to be friends or get to know that person. Wh whose hand did you sh- oh, where do you meet people? It's, it was one attempt here. Oh, 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 that's a sound and a feeling. It is. <laughs> Why well, his hand does not want to stay on? Oh, but this is fun. Metallic slime. It's the future. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're making pretzels. Oh, now we can jump for... <gasps> I want to see how long slime lasts preserved and out in the open. So, you've got That's extra... Yes. Yes, we will find out. I think it's experiment time. All right, so here we are coming into the kitchen and... Oh, look what we have. Oh, oh my goodness. Where's the camera? Oh, okay. Anyway, bag, slime, slight rotation. Don't just ignore the freezer. It's a disaster. Here's the slime. Don't take my coffee. And yes, yeah, freeze like that. <laughs> we'll Perfect. be back in what, 24 hours? With the results of our experiment, I'm sure it won't end badly at all. Absolutely not. All right, so we're back 24 hours later to the freezer of mysteries. Let's see what we have inside. Oh, I forgot the little monster came along with it. There he is, just chilling in our freezer. Oh, chilling. Here, come on, Philip, let's go. Was this Fleur, Philip, or Burkle, Burkle, Burk? I think that was Philip. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so obviously when we didn't think it was going to do anything too exciting, I mean, it's a liquidy, non-Newtonian-y, fluid-like substance that obviously would freeze, but at the same time, I didn't know. Like, oh. It's brutal. <laughs> See? It's not just regular ice. Let's open this bad boy up. It's, it's really... You touch it with your bare hand now. Oh, God. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of how gross it'll be. Oh. I it's mean, really... okay, it feels like frozen fruit melting. It oh, stinks. oh, this is, I don't think this is an okay feeling trying to warm up slime <laughs> in your hands. There's a lot of water mixed with it too because it has all this frost. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that I, that's all in your ring now. I want to say <laughs> that this is unpleasant, but there you go. When you freeze slime, it it freezes, you know, we kind of figured that, but it is a weird consistency. And as it's starting to like warm up and melt, now it's very much like, I don't know, a chunk of frozen mango. Um, Thor, you, you don't want to eat this. You can look, but you can't touch. Not safe for kiddies or probably people. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Nah. Why these for your children and then wonder why they have nightmares and end up in your bed.
So they didn't go to the trouble of naming their creatures, which is kind of disappointing. But I think Philip and Quarkle, 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 I think that needs to be, we'll write to Mega uh, Constructs and tell them that we've officially named their creatures. I say these things are a win. We got to play with squishy little spawns of some awful dimension. We got to play with fun slime and we have reusable packaging. I'm quite impressed. Oh, yeah, there's little pieces of slime everywhere. So be sure to check us out next time with more random finds, random mysteries, and who knows what else. Lovecraftian horrors that spit slime. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? Like and subscribe. It helps the channel and costs you nothing. So do it. Please help. Or these things will eat us in the night. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Isn't that lovely? A little merry-go-round of nightmares. <laughs>